In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to enter shared parental leave for eligible employees and how to apply statutory shared parental pay for birth. Firstly, select payroll followed by the employee's name on the left to access their payslip. Under statutory pay, click the calendar button and on the employee's calendar, select the start of leave date. Click the parenting leave option to the right of the screen and choose shared parental leave from the list. Under Leave Details, enter all relevant information and dates accordingly. The expected week of childbirth and qualifying week will automatically be calculated. BrightPay will automatically calculate the employee's average weekly earnings to determine whether the employee is entitled to SHPP. However, should you wish to override this automatic calculation, simply untick the box provided and manually enter the employee's average weekly earnings. This may be needed if you are using BrightPay for the first time and the employee's relevant period for calculating their average weekly earnings falls in the previous tax year. Under Blocks of Leave, record each block of leave accordingly for the employee and the employee's partner if known. Once SHPP payments for any given block have started, they will no longer be changeable. For RTI reporting purposes, complete the Partners Details section accordingly. This information will be included in your full payment submission to HMRC in the period in which you pay your employee SHPP. To retain the information entered, click Save. The employee's calendar will automatically be updated with their shared parental leave. Press Close to return to the employee's payslip. BrightPay will automatically calculate and apply any SHPP due when the shared parental leave period begins. In the event that sufficient historical payroll data isn't available within BrightPay to calculate the employee's average weekly earnings, but you are aware that they are entitled to receive SHPP based on previous payroll records, simply click on the Edit button and tick to override the average weekly earnings calculation enter the average weekly earnings amount. To view or edit the employee's shared parental leave details at any time, click Edit followed by View Edit Details. BrightPay will continue to apply any SHPP due until the shared parental leave end date is reached. Should an employee attend work during their shared parental leave, they will be able to work for up to 20 days without losing any SHPP. These days are known as shared parental leave in touch days or split days for short. To record split days, firstly click the calendar button within the statutory payments section on the employee's payslip. On the employee's calendar, highlight the day or days the employee is attending work, then select the split day option on the right hand side. As soon as the number of split days recorded in the employee's calendar exceeds 20 days, BrightPay will notify you in the relevant pay period that the employee is no longer entitled to any SHPP due to having taken their 21st split day.